What's up guys, this is Desm101, back with another 3DO video for you. Now this video is just a quick guide that I've been requested to make for a few people giving instructions on how to prepare your USB for the MNEMO ODE, the optical drive emulator for the 3DO. And I do have a couple previous videos talking about this. But here I'm just going to go through some basic instructions on setting up your device to prepare it for use with the 3DO optical drive emulator. First off, the one that I use for my setup here is a Toshiba Canvio. A lot of people ask me what kind of external drive I use, so this is the kind that I use for mine. And if we look at the back here, this one has 500 gigabytes of storage, so it holds all of the games in the library and some extras and things like that and I have not had any problems with it it's a few years old now um, so I don't know how much these go for but it works great for the purpose of this video however I'm going to be preparing this little cheap generic USB and that's to show that you can use just about any kind of USB it doesn't have to be a brand name one um, it's just got to be FAT32 and I'll show you how to install the files on here to prepare it and then we'll test it with this 3DO just to make sure it works. So let's get started. Okay so first off if you want to create images from your own discs, your own library, just use image burn on your computer with your CD drive and rip it onto there. Or if you get them online like a lot of people might, you can go ahead and use this win ISO it's a free tool that you can download and all you have to do is get your bin Q files ready and go ahead and hit the convert button and then in here you'll see that for this example it has a Q and an ISO we want to combine them into a single ISO so you choose the Q file and then you want to go ahead and tell it where to output the ISO and I've already done it, but this is just so you know how to complete it yourself. You hit the OK button, it'll create the ISO from the Q image, and any of your bin Qs that'll work. So next is the preparation of the USB drive. So you can see here it's this one that's full. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and format it. You can go ahead, make sure it's FAT32. Give it a name if you'd like. We'll just call it 3DO since it's easy to keep track of and remember what it is. It was in use in the file browser, so not a big deal. Make sure you have the quick format selected and it should go really fast. Now, the next thing you want to do is go to MNEMO's page here for the 3DO mod and at the bottom of the section you see there is a link where he's got the actual startup files. So when you click on that it'll download to a, a RIN RAR, it'll download to your computer as a RAR file and just use something like 7-zip or WinRAR to open it, extract the files and then what I've done here is I just go ahead and copy it do a control A, control C copy the contents and we'll put it onto our newly formatted USB. Okay. And the folders are empty. The main thing is that BIOS file at the bottom, that's what'll get it started running and he even included some NVRAMs that you can test with. And then once that's ready, then you can go ahead and get your ISO that we prepared from the previous step. And we'll just go ahead and copy that over to the corresponding folder in the template that we have from MNEMO. I'm 
might take a while to move your files over onto the drive. But once you've placed them over there, then you can go ahead and test it. I have also tried out image files and it does work in some cases, but it's just recommended to use an ISO. I actually haven't tried testing bin and Q files to see if it works, but just converting them to ISOs for me has worked fine so far. I haven't really had any issues with that. So now let's go ahead and test it. And as you can see, it works fine. I plugged it into my 3DO, that brand new formatted USB. And there's no issues here. So you've already, if you've seen my previous videos, then you already know about how this works and how the NVRAMs are in here. These are good for testing out stuff like Doom has a full screen unlock and uh, some other neat stuff already in there for you if you want to test it out. Just make sure that you know that if you move contents onto your NVRAM from there, it'll erase everything that's on your current video. Just be careful. So here is Patank, the one that we moved over. And as you can see, it works just fine. There's an ISO file that I had created from the queue and bin. And it's one I hadn't tested before prior to this session, so yeah, it works fine on this new USB. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple process. All you have to do is get your ISO files either converted from BinQ or from your own library and put them on there with the MNEMO template. Now let's go ahead and talk about the 3D Game Guru. I wasn't aware of this tool, but it's something like a Game Genie or action replay for the 3 d And you can find that ISO online or the BinQ and convert it to an ISO. And it's really handy for save management. So before we were using the sampler CD and the interface is really bad, but here the Game Guru, it's nice and simple and straightforward. You don't have to go through a ton of menus. You can see here you've got code library, enter codes, file list. That's where you can go just browse through your save files. So you can see it gives you a size of each item at the bottom and a description of what exactly it's saved, like scores. And then underneath that, it's got the total free space. So if you're trying to manage how much free space you have for a game that takes a lot, it makes it a lot easier in here because you can see all that real quick right away when you boot up into the program. And whatever you want to delete, whatever you want to copy, and you can even compress files on here. I haven't tested it, but that will basically allow you to store more save files than would normally be allowed, but you have to decompress them first. There's also some additional settings here where you can change some of the menu options, performance, like how it functions, and some other stuff like the audio and visuals. I haven't tested that a ton myself, but it just seems kind of like extra stuff you can mess with. Now here's the other trick, the cheats. You can go in here into their code library, and they've got a list of games for the 3DO that you can go ahead and apply the cheats for. The way it does is it gets the save file that you have on the system and it will apply a patch to it that unlocks whatever each one of these cheats specifies. So what we'll do is we'll test out killing time and we'll go ahead and activate some of the cheats here like the shotgun and 100 ammo and full life. And then we'll test it out just to make sure it works. So it asks you what file to patch. And then you just hit OK. The A button is to confirm. If you want to go back, you have to hit the X button. So yeah, that's pretty handy. It doesn't have the full library of games. But you can kind of mess around with it and if you do like messing with cheats and stuff like that it's cool to have these options on here but more of the case is that this is just a really handy little tool and it's really good for save file management so i'm going to go ahead and recommend this over using the sampler cd like we did in the last video now to test it we'll go ahead and run killing time with my save file that you saw we patched and we'll just make sure that it works. Let's 
skip the intro here. All right, and as you can see, that has worked correctly. So it's at the very beginning of the game where you wouldn't have access to the shotgun immediately. But I have 100 ammo also and full life right at that save. So yeah, it did work. No problems when using Game Guru with the Mnemo ODE. So that's gonna wrap it up for today, guys. Hope you find this video helpful if you're using this. Let me know if there's any other questions you have or if there's some other 3DO related topics that you'd like me to cover. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a good one and I will see you next time.